Mass Inside Education and Research is a nonprofit organization dedicated to improving student achievement by building strategies to advance equity and opportunity in public schools. Mass Insights Managing Director of Policy and Advocacy, John Schneider, joined SAI TV to share his leadership experience in expanding government, nonprofit, and public policy programs. For myself personally, I've always been interested in the intersection of public policy and, and education. I think education is a incredibly important driver of, of change, of opportunity, uh, fulfillment, uh, and so have looked uh, throughout my career uh, to, uh, you know, work in that space where, um, you know, good thinking about schools and how we improve schools was intersecting with public policy. So I've worked for a number of nonprofits uh, and uh, I spent several years working uh, in the Massachusetts legislature uh, at the time that we were doing the Massachusetts Education Reform Act. So I was able to work on that law as well. But I think education is an incredibly important um, public policy issue, and I'm privileged to have had the opportunity to make a difference uh, in that field. Awesome. Now let's talk a little bit about Mass Insight. If you could describe in your own words the main mission for your organization. Well, uh, we really focus on partnerships, uh, partnerships with states, with districts, with schools, with classrooms, with communities uh, to implement strategies and um, build capacity to advance equity and opportunity in K through 12 education. Uh, and we do that in a variety of ways. Uh, we have um, a uh, pr program that focuses on school and district improvement. And then we have a program that focuses on AP STEM education. Uh, and that is a program that primarily um, we implement here in Massachusetts, although we have worked in a number of other states to help them improve their AP STEM uh, education. Uh, but uh, you know, we see AP as an important platform to help students uh, achieve college and career success, but students and teachers and schools need help uh, to implement that platform. And that's what our team does. I also saw from your website, you guys are very focused on providing like a, a platform for undeserved communities, giving more diversity um, and inclusion. So could you talk a little bit about what the main challenge is? So that is a major focus of our work. Um, we like to say that we're the leading advocate for equity uh, in AP education. Uh, and I, I think, um, well, certainly one of the major challenges is our students prepared to enroll in AP classes uh, when they're in high school, uh, because AP classes are not easy. They are college level classes that students are enrolling in, uh, and they require some foundational skills and knowledge. So, um, you know, working with schools uh, to make sure that once students are enrolled in AP classes, they have the support they need uh, in order to um, uh, effectively um, uh, succeed in, in AP classes. Kind of going off of what you said, I guess what's like the main impact that you've seen with these programs? That's a great question. Um, and we do a lot of research uh, and, uh, you know, we certainly have helped uh, more students, students of color, low-income students succeed in AP classes. Uh, but I think the main impact is when we're good, when we're successful, uh, we help both students and teachers uh, develop a relationship that uh, creates a lot of confidence in students as learners, that they can take on these challenging courses. 
So it's not enough for a teacher just to have really solid content knowledge about physics or statistics or biology or chemistry. They also have to know how to connect uh, with students, especially students that traditionally haven't been in, you know, sort of the advanced placement pipeline and help them develop confidence uh, as learners. And that takes time. Uh, it also takes, you know, getting some really honest feedback, but it takes a lot of support. And I think that's where the magic happens uh, with our work. When a teacher is really connecting with students in their class and encouraging them uh, to stay at it uh, and, um, you know, to overcome some obstacles. And we've de developed a number of tools to help teachers do that. We we worked with uh, uh, some high schools in Massachusetts and Connecticut and teachers to develop what we call the AP equity tools. And one of the items uh, that's part of that is this on-track framework. So it looks at the academic year and, um, you know, kind of lays out the challenges that students might be experiencing at certain times during the year. So, you know, for example, after, uh, you know, the December break, uh, you know, there may be a need to kind of reset, right? Uh, and so, uh, you know, sort of uh, describe some of these challenges. And uh, we've talked to students and teachers about some strategies that could be used to overcome some of the barriers. That's, uh, I think, the magic of the work that we do. You're able to kind of provide that platform for kids to build a relationship with teachers. I want to say something, too, um, about teachers, because I think um, another strength of our work is creating a professional network uh, where AP teachers, you know, working in some of the challenging high schools across the state are able to connect with each other and learn from each other uh, and connect with our content directors who are experts uh, in, you know, their fields and, you know, deep knowledge about pedagogy. And in doing so, we're really creating a professional support network for teachers who sometimes feel isolated in their work. This was especially true during the pandemic. Um, and so having that network of other professionals uh, facing similar challenges, uh, I think is another strength of, of our program. Yeah, definitely. I'm so glad you added that. Um, that's That's very meaningful. And yeah, my last question was just, what are your hopes for the future of the organization? Well, you know, this is, uh, I, I believe we've just finished our 15th year of this program. And I think we're in a, a phase now where we're kind of evaluating what's working, um, what's not, looking at make, making some changes that could, you know, that will, that will keep us um, relevant and effective, uh, you know, over the next decade. The need for students to take, um, you, you know, uh, challenging courses in high school is not going to go away. Uh, but, you know, how we support that uh, effort and the needs of teachers and students uh you know, will change. So we want to make sure that we're able to respond to those changes effectively, stay relevant, uh, and, uh, you know, continue on our mission to um, make sure that advanced placement education here in Massachusetts uh, is accessible and equitable to all. I look forward to seeing the amazing work that you guys continue to do. Thank you, Victoria, and thanks for the opportunity to talk to you today.